a matchup for the UFC Bantamweight division title. So here is the number one Bantamweight contender making his way to the octagon. Got to be some nerves here as he gets set to compete for the UFC Bantamweight title. No denying he deserves to be there. He's got the requisite win streak. He's got the finishes. He's got the popularity, the fan support. Now he needs the championship performance. We'll see if he has what it takes to unseat the incumbent. All right, so here he is, the consensus number one Bantamweight in the world, the UFC's reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion, and he's looking to make the walk out of the octagon with all of those same titles. He wants to be mentioned with some of this division's greats, all-time types. Gotta win this fight tonight, make good on another title defense, and then his name creeps into that conversation. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Sterling is three years his senior. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Our round for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Aurora, Colorado, presenting the challenger, Corey Sandhagen. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Uniondale, New York, presenting, waiting, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. Main punk master Sterling. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out for it. dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again.
And he landed the right hand there. Oh, now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump or he can chase the fish. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Sterling's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Ground and pound strike is true. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, he's got his back now. In under three minutes now to go in the round. Sterling gets back up. Went for the inside leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Big head kick lands. Powerful leg kick lands. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Oh, big elbow. Oh! Oh, big left. So just over 20 total strikes, as you see there, have landed for Aljamain Sterling. Kick to the body by Sterling. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, perfect head kick there. Just out of range with that right hook. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Under a minute now to go in this one. Look at the turtle in that kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, nice. Nice. Ten seconds to go in the round. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big body Bring kick land. Right now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. 
All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the center I mean, line. it was defensive brilliant. Yeah. I mean, just the ability to move, to roll his shoulders, to get his hands up and block his head as his opponent was trying to attack him was a sight to behold. It was a thing of beauty to watch a guy with such a vast understanding of defensive fighting. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? Try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again, and this guy is the poster boy for that. Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. Oh, right in the mouth. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Beautiful kick. Oh, he might be out. So 55 total strikes have landed for Aljamain Sterling. And in terms of the accuracy rate, DC landing at a 59% clip thus far tonight against Aljamain Sterling. Notice the drive. Look at how he drives the knees right into the midsection. Sterling goes for the takedown. He misses. So a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Right punches there. Big kick land. Sterling going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Ten seconds. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. 
He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be. And threw it with ill intent. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. All right, bro. Take a seat. Listen. I need you to stay a little bit more active, a little bit more moving. You can't wait on this guy, okay? Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, the action continues here and now Ready? as our next round Ready? gets underway. The previous oh, round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is gonna have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Switching stances here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he's hurt. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Stay busy. You control this. Huge block there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, that's a good strike there by Sterling. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Can't take many of those, you better check. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, missed on that one. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Sterling's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. It's time to look I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Sterling gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Matt, nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh! He's gonna turn on the elbow and he's gonna chase the submission finish.
take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. All right, so there he is, the man they are all chasing at 135 pounds, your UFC Bantamweight World Champion, and what a way to get it done tonight with the submission win. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds of round number three. For the winner by submission, The new king of the Bantamweights. Big result here tonight as he submits the previous champion emphatically to become the new king in the Bantamweight division. The celebration is on in the court, and that is not a celebration that's going to be stopping anytime soon. There is a new Bantamweight champion. Congratulations.